At Al Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunis, they laid out the wrapped bodies of people killed in the night by Israel. At the end of the line was Asya Abdul Wahab, a baby killed on the day she was born, laid across the bodies of her mother, also called Asya, and her father Yahya. Don't cry, he told their son Mohammed. They're in heaven. Gaza has been turned into a living hell for civilians by Israel's offensive. Thousands of children are among the Palestinian dead. Their families say there's only one way to make a difference. Everyone is only talking about aid, said Ibrahim Ahmed al-Ashraf. We don't care about aid. We want them to stop the bloodshed. The Americans say Israel is killing too many innocent people, but they still block the UN's latest attempt to vote in a ceasefire. The war has increased the tension in Hebron, a city on the West Bank holy to Jews and Muslims that has been a flashpoint for decades. Most Palestinians can no longer access property, live or work in part of the city center. That's because Jewish settlers live here behind security provided by the Israeli army. Extreme Jewish nationalists in Israel's government also live in Hebron, and since the 7th of October attacks, Palestinians of all ages near the settlement have been ordered to stay home under a strict curfew. The guard dogs are owned by Shadi al Mutassin, necessary, he says, to protect his family from attacks by Jewish settlers. Weeks of lockdown in the curfew have paralyzed their lives. You could call us zombies. We've been imprisoned for two months. We can't leave the house or go to work or take our children out. Life is hard. The curfew has been eased slightly, but the security forces still didn't like him talking to us. They have all the rights. We don't have any. They don't see us as humans. Just outside his house, the settlement was having a party to reunite army reservists with their families. It was to thank them for all they've done for Hebron's Jews, said Anat Cohen, the organizer. What do you think of the fact that the Arabs are under a curfew most of the time? Is that fair? I don't know anything about any curfew, she said. The way the Arabs behave isn't fair. The essence of the conflict is here in Hebron. It's a reminder of the depth of its roots, of the reasons why it's never been settled, and as well as that, the enormous sacrifices in terms of deeply held beliefs that would be necessary if Israelis and Palestinians are ever going to make peace. Back in Gaza, Israel says civilians suffer because Hamas uses them as human shields. Israel insists its strikes are precise and intelligence-led. Al-Aqsa Mata's hospital in Deir al-Bala, one of the few still functioning, is overwhelmed. No more beds are left. No hope either. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Jerusalem.